Hello everyone, welcome to bispsolutions.com. My name is Somit and today I am going to tell you how to create a prof product profitability reports by product category within Tableau. So here we have been extracted the data from our ERP solution and uh, I would like to visualize that product profitability report within Tableau. So first of all, let me show you my requirement. So that's my requirement sheet. I have created a requirement sheet, which here I'm going to display the revenue, gross profit and operating profit by product and year for the current fiscal year. And uh, as you can see this, the user focus for this requirement sheet will be or this report will be CFOs, VP, controllers and managers. And the data set we'll be going to use here is that's my product market data. So I'm going to use the same data set right now. This data set is in Excel in my very very in my very next report. We will be loading this data into MongoDB and then visualize the data out of it. So let's have a look how to visualize it. So the ultimate goal is to create a product profitability report for the current fiscal year which would be displaying the revenue amount, percentage of total revenue, product gross profit, product gross margin, product operating percentage and product operating percentage. <clears throat> so what I will be do is I will simply create a new let's open Tableau again and uh, I would be telling you that from the scratch where would be where we will be loading the data from data set and then we will visualize it we will create a product profitability report so first of all let's load the file and i would be loading the file from my financial reporting so i load in data from excel file and i choose the product market data drag and drop it click on sheet one to sheet to create a sheet now the requirement is to create the product profitability dashboard product profitability report by product category. So here the dimension will be product category. So I drag and drop product category into rows and year into columns. So that's for the current financial year and the very first is revenue. So I drag and drop revenue. Let me customize it, transform it and change its format to the number to currency custom. And that's it. Now the next, next requirement is to show the percentage of total. So for this, what I will be doing, I simply create, uh, I'll simply add a add table calculation to this and I will say percentage of total table down. So as you can see here it is showing the wrong calculation and that is because we need to change the format first of all and what I will be doing I change this to percentage instead of currency custom I change this to percentage and we'll get the percentage of total and also I'll simply add total show column grand total so this is 100% and then I drag and drop revenue over here. So I just drag and drop revenue on top of this, which would be showing the revenue and major. So it will be showing percentage of total revenue and revenue. I just <coughs> change their positions and it will be showing revenue and percentage of total revenue. The third requirement is we need to display the product cross profit and to display product gross profit we have a column called gross profit so i drag and drop gross profit and it would be go it would be showing the gross profit let me format this as well and change this currency as zero decimal places gross profit next calculation is product gross margin percent and uh, the product gross margin percent will be sum of gross profit divided by the total revenue means the gross profit we need to calculate the gross profit with respective to the total of this revenue so we for achieve this i will be going to create a calculated field and give this label as product gross margin product gross 
margin percent and here it would be the calculation will be sum of gross profit divided by because the requirement is for individual product category the gross margin the product gross margin percent will respective to the total of revenue so here i write total sum of revenue and uh, uh, one parameter is missing parenthesis is missing and it's fine and click on okay so we got a calculated column and i simply drag and drop this product gross margin person and i change this format into percentage two decimal and the label can be changed the product gross margin we can set the format and alignment we can set this in the middle and make it a little bigger it depends so formatting we need to do it by ourselves product gross margin percent and i edit area so product margin percent i don't want a long uh we need to change this label as well so i just change this to alias the next requirement the next column is the product operating profit and the product operating profit we have a column called operating income so there is a already existing field called operating income so i simply drag and drop this operating income and i rename this as product operating And also, I just format this and add it as a curve. So don't forget to format because it is important. Formatting is required. And the final column is required. That is the product operating profit percent. And the product operating profit percent is the uh, because we already had a calculated column. So I'll just create one create calculated field, and I'll give this name as product operating profit percent and the calculation will be sum of operating income divided by total of sum of revenue okay and product operating profit percent i drag and drop it format and change this into percentage and we got this let's do some more customization first of all i change the name as that's a because that's a the it this sheet is product uh, that's a product product profitability so i just write product report current financial year so i just set the label this is for current financial year and i'll just right click on to it format this and let make some changes so for grand total uh, i'll set w bold and i choose not the uh, red color because red color is used for usually red color is used for showing the negative values so i'll just choose different color and this also i set the format as tab view bold make it bold and the color i choose as so we got the total same thing we can do with heading so ultimately finally once we are done with this we can up we can add this on to our tab view dashboard so that's all in this report this is how we can create a prof product profitability dashboard in the next series of video we will be going to come up with some new requirements but in those in for those requirements sheet will not be going to use the excel data will be going to use load the data into mongodb and then import the data from mongodb into tab so if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bispsolutions.com or you can post your comments in the comment box Keep watching. Have a nice day.